Hey, what is going on, everyone? And welcome to the orb opening of, uh, well, not th not this guy, uh, but it's going to be from what people are starting to call Cha Cha, aka Star Lord T'Challa. So we're going to be doing a Red Star orb opening for him today. Uh, we're also going to be talking about exactly where you can use them if you want to unlock them or if you want to get them early. Uh, and surprisingly, that's not going to be the places where you might think. So he does have a little bit of a wider use, and I do want to talk about those. Uh, we are not going to be opening. Uh, uh, sorry, we're not going to be unlocking him here in today's video because a I don't spend I don't want to spend on him, and even if I get a six red, it's not going to happen. But I still think he's a very good character, and I do plan on giving him up despite all of this. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. And first things first, we got to do a red star orb opening for him. So I have a lot of regular red star orbs. I also have quite a few elite fours. I have 10 elite fours. At this point, I'm not willing to do anything higher than that. I, I don't have a ton higher than that. I have like an elite six, which I'm saving for any legendary character drops. Uh, same with five, I think right now. Uh, because T'Challa is a blitz unlock, unfortunately, it's going to be next Thursday, not not. Well, I guess, yeah, it is the next Thursday. Uh, we have uh, Silver Surfer ongoing right now. And so he's going to be the next major blitz next Thursday and the following Thursday, kind of like how Ghost Spider was. And so for that reason, I don't think I'm going to get any more than a four-star free-to-play. In this case, I'm not going to be spending any power cores to unlock them. I'm going to be hoarding my power cores for the next patch. Also, with the possibility that there might be a legendary unlock coming soon, I'm going to need as many power cores as I possibly can. And as a more of a free-to-play player, you know, that's just kind of what I have to do sometimes. But, you know... You know, I do want to get a four or higher, of course, but you know, we're gonna at least try to get a four. I might settle with a three if you know that is all I can get. But you know how you know how red stars work. You know, some people just get really, really lucky, and some people just don't. Because I have seen some content creator red star orb opening videos lately where people get really mad because they didn't get anything. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me today. Uh, but we'll have to see and find out. So let's get started with a couple of elite fours. Well, I, I I'm probably willing to pull about four or five of these and then i might do some regular red star orbs mainly because i do want to hold more of these for you know the next patch and for characters after that i'm not super in the need to get a four red for him necessarily but obviously that would be great so uh let's get this started here starting off with a four a researcher dupe of course it is most things in my roster at this point, uh, a four is a dupe. I actually, you know, to be honest, my average in my is, is like a four or a five. So there's only a few characters that do not have that at this point in time. I think there's only like four characters in my roster that have a three. Come on, okay. Let's get some better luck. All dupes and like minions. Like all three minions. Come on. Give us something good. No, that not not Rhino. That's four. Four bad ones. Come on. Oh, we got a gold. Oh. Six red star. Scientist Supreme. This could be really good. <laughs> if there's a MODOK aim rework. There was a tech. <laughs> a tech rumor that there was going to be MODOK with Super Adaptoid. And a Scientist Supreme rework. That would be really, really stellar. I don't know if that's going to come to pass. And even if it does, we're still at least two plus months out from that now at this point. <sighs> that could have been that could have been really good. You know what? Maybe maybe I will enjoy that sometime in the future, but not right now. I'll do one more. Come on, a six is pretty good from a four. Toad. Ah, uh, red stars, man. Ah, uh, one more? One more. One more, and that's it. Oh, we got him! Okay, that's great. Four, four red Star Lord T'Challa. It took, uh, how many did we open? Like six? Maybe seven. Six or seven? I mean, I had like ten, and now I only have like just about four. Yeah, I, I think I opened seven. Uh, but that does still give me a lot of red star orbs to open to accumulate those elite four credits back on the other orbs, which I will do probably if there's a gap uh, for dark credits, possibly if I need to, to build that back up again. Uh, we'll see. So that's it for the red star pulls. Uh, we did get that six red scientist supreme. You know, let's upgrade her really quickly. You know, we do have a four going from a four to a six. 
almost 100k now unfortunately like her base stats is just super lacking this is not a video about scientist supreme however i really wish she was more viable for the doom raid tech lane so please scopely give us that scientist supreme rework with aim give us modok that would be great thank you let's continue on the video about uh star lord t'challa for that we're going to be going over to msf.gg uh, because that's really the easiest place to look at the kits and uh, what i want to talk about with regards to him uh next so let's do that all right so let's go over really quickly star lord t'challa's kit for those of you who are unfamiliar and i just want to say that really quickly if you guys are interested in some gameplay footage of t'challa we are not going to get to that in today's video uh, but i do have a video on my youtube channel and i'll link that in the comments down below uh if you are interested in checking out star lord t'challa in doom raid 2 tech uh, because i do have a clip of that and he actually works really well when we're going to talk about this more later but for those who are unfamiliar with this kit uh let's talk about it very briefly so elemental blast this is his basic attack attack prime target for 280 percent damage and bonus for 250 we're going to be take, taking a look at the level 6 versions because what's really nice and i mentioned this in other videos uh, that it actually shows here the upgrade and what the t4 value is worth so even though it's only damage you're actually getting 140 percent damage for this one here because it's 70 percent damage on the primary and the secondary attack with it which is guaranteed you also get offense up for using this which is super nice uh, what's really great about star lord t'challa is the uniqueness of his kit and we're going to be talking about that here uh, with this special grab Gravity Repulsor. Now, you do have this available on turn one. It does have a cooldown of six. Now, despite that, it does actually come around at a decent chunk rate uh, when you're using them in raids because of Shuri. If you happen to be using Shuri and accumulating extra ability energy that way, attack primary target for 320% damage plus apply blind and apply defense down. On war offense, if Yondu is an ally, apply defense down to all enemies instead. So this is if you're using in war uh, with the wider Ravager team. If the primary target has blind, steal up to one ability energy from that target. But with the T4s, you steal up to two ability energy. And I want to really clarify this. I've done this, in the, I've clarified this already in the past, uh, but it's steal up to one or two ability energy in this case uh so basically what that means is you want to make sure that you're stealing from characters that do have a lot of ability energy if for whatever reason you're, you're doing this from someone who just uses their abilities and they don't even have that much then it may only actually take one so make sure the target uh, of this attack is going to be someone that has a lot of ability energy to steal otherwise you may not actually get to which is kind of strange uh, but be because of this that means this gravity repulsor is always going to be like on a cooldown of more like a four because you're always going to be getting two back after using this which is really nice and uh but you do have to make sure that you apply that blind so for that reason skirmisher iso is really your best bet here depending on your uh star levels if you happen to have really high star levels you, you know you spent money on on t'challa then maybe you could go for a striker or something like that to improve his damage uh, but otherwise for everyone else i would recommend the skirmisher iso to really bump up that focus to make sure you apply that blind so then you're stealing the ability energy on this skill so that's really really important the attack is unavoidable but it can be resisted so that's why that focus part is really uh, important there now obviously upgrading this t4 is really important because you're getting an extra ability energy and i would highly recommend getting this one here too uh ravager rocket this is an interesting skill he T'Challa is, is a huge glass cannon, uh, but he does it really well. So this skill is really nice. Copy all positive effects, excluding safeguard, taunt, and regen from adjacent allies. So this happens first before he does the attack. And then he attacks primary target for 530% damage, which is quite a bit. Moving to six, you know, you can see the difference. So you're getting an extra 100% damage here with the upgrade. And then you're copying all positive uh, effects rather than just three. What's really, really good about this one, and you really want the T-Force for this if you're going hard on T'Challa, having him next to a character like like say Kestrel or the Eternals depending on where you're using them you know characters that have lots of buffs on them he's going to be taking all of these buffs and then he's going to be extending them by plus one which is really great increase the duration of all positive effects excluding regen for self and all Ravager allies by plus one to a maximum of three so typically you know if you use this after like a Kestrel special for example in Doom Raid Tech uh, you're going to be getting uh, two turns from her buffs but then you're going to take that and then you're going to extend it plus one so you're always at the bare minimum going to be taking and having at least plus uh, two turns of these buffs but with say Kestrel you know you can get that up to three for all of her buffs which is really great other than regen but I mean I don't think she does that uh, maybe the Eternals will, will do, would do that but she doesn't so uh, a Kestrel is a really good partner to have alongside T'Challa for this now now, Rousing Ravager, this is his passive. What's really, really great about this is that he does clear 
uh, on his own turn, gain evade, plus clear one negative effect from self and all Ravager allies. So this is really great in Doom Ray tech for cleansing that heal block that characters like uh, Silver Surfer and Calling Wing apply to him because he can self cleanse. Kestrel can self-cleanse, and actually, if you were going to use Ravager Stitcher, for those of you out there with a high red star Ravager Stitcher, that would also cleanse it off of them as well. So this adds an extra character that can self-cleanse. I know characters like Lady Deathstrike can, can sort of do that on a skill, uh, but he does this on a passive on his turn, which is really good. Uh, heal Block is one of the worst debuffs that happens at least in the doom raid tech lane and so this is and usually there's not too many debuffs on top of that so this would typically clear the heal block which is really great on non-summoned enemy death he gains 30 percent speed bar as well which is super good uh from four to five though this actually only has any to do with uh ravager allies and war offense so you don't need to get the t4s for the passive here he does gain 30 percent damage for himself and then ravager allies get a bunch of boss damage and war uh did sorry damage and health and then even more in war offense so again if you're not really concerned about using him in the wider context of the team then you don't really need to get this t4 he does gain 25 percent extra max health uh but otherwise that's only in war offense so if that's not your priority you don't need to get this t4 i would recommend the special and the ultimate first if i really had to say i would probably take the special and then the ultimate and then the basic but the basic is still pretty good because the amount of damage that you're getting from this 140 percent so this is really nice too what's really great about star lord t'challa is actually he's not not that expensive to gear and he requires carbonadium so this is a pretty easy unique to get it's hard to see my apologies here you can see the superior carbonadium on the right hand side here it really just cuts off a bit i could i guess i could minimize this a bit and kind of show you that uh, well that screws it up never mind my apologies for this this being a thick uh a thick frame on the right hand side the superior carbonadium the only other real character that actually uses that right now is omega red and aside from that there's not a lot of characters you can see like gear tier 14 to 15 he only requires two sets of uh mini uniques here for gear tier 15 you can see it on his armor pieces uh the ones with the two uh the two dots the two lines here these represent the gear tier 15 pieces so he only needs one for the focus one for the damage and then the rest are kind of older pieces which is really great if you look at what you need for a uh, gear tier 16 once again you only need the the damage and the focus pieces for for teal gear so he represents a very cheap option for tech gear and that's great because there's not a a lot of really good tech characters out there so it, it puts t'challa in a very good position to be being able to gear i'm sure there's a lot of us who are sitting on uh you know quite a bit of tech gear the one thing that i would say is that despite him having stronger focus gear pieces his focus uh without the wider team and not having too many buffs uh you know things like offense stuff that he's not getting with the ravagers on spawn that he does actually suffer a little bit which is why i recommended the skirmisher iso here uh, for his blind he does i, I believe it's like rank 40 or something of all the characters in terms of focus stat it's it's above average but it's not as good as it could be so do keep that in mind so unless you're running like a five yellow five red uh t'challa and maybe some people are you know you could run striker at that point but otherwise i would just recommend the skirmisher because if this gets resisted this kind of screws a lot of things up especially if you're planning on using him in doom ray tech and the second thing that i want to talk about before we end the video i want to talk about where else you can use him so doom ray tech is what i mentioned quite a bit is because there's not a lot of good tech characters you know there's a lot of people who are kind of using a hodgepodge right now i think the shoe ins right now for doom ray tech is dr doom kestrel and then it kind of breaks down a little bit you're using some combination probably of shuri maybe doc ock maybe nebula and then some people may be using lady death strike I'm, I'm not going to talk about misty knight but i don't have lady death strike built up however there is a lot of people who are taking here to gear tier 15 and beyond uh so this is a good choice here of course but star lord t'challa represents a really good one as well and i think that you can actually use him alongside characters like lady death strike so in this case what i would do is for now anyways i would i would consider shuri doom kestrel t'challa and lady death strike if you're someone who is already running Lady Deathstrike. Alternatively, you could also go for a Tar Star Lord T'Challa and Ravager Stitcher combo. Believe it or not, some people are doing that with success. I have done it before. Uh, I just don't have major red stars on him. He is very cheap to gear. He synergizes quite well with T'Challa, but I, I probably wouldn't recommend this unless you're like a five red, maybe six red or higher to really benefit from that. Uh, but he is, believe it or not, a decent option. And do check out my video on uh, T'Challa and the Ravagers in Doom Raid Tech because it's quite interesting. Uh, the other place I want to talk about using him 
is in Dark Dimension Cosmic. Now, believe it or not, I think this is actually a very solid reason. A, because he's a tech character, uh, so that means that he's very cheap to gear. There's not a lot of competition for his gear pieces. Uh, but B, there's kind of like a little bit of a void, in my opinion, for top Cosmic characters now. Without a doubt, you know, you want to level up the characters like the Eternals. No, that's a no-brainer. Icarus and Cersei are kind of a no-brainer. Kestrel, to some degree, is a little bit of a no-brainer as well. So those are three really good characters. But from that, the choices really vary, especially if you're not wanting to go further in Infinity Watch. At this point, I really wouldn't do that anyways. Silver Surfer, to be honest, I wouldn't go further with him. So that kind of leaves a little bit of a vacuum in terms of the characters that you should be gearing uh, for Dark Dimension Cosmic. You could do Deathpool, but once again, huge saturation for Mystic Gear because there's Icarus, there's Cersei, there's Doctor Doom, there's Cloak and Dagger, and the list goes on. You know, Adam Warlock, possibly if you're doing that for Legendary. There's just a lot of Mystic choices. So, alternatively, other than doing Deathpool, T'Challa actually pops up once again as a really good option because if you stick him in between characters like Icarus or Cersei or Kestrel, you know, there's lots of buffs for him to take, and he's going to be constantly just extending these buffs over and over again as he gets his energy back from stealing it. So it's a really, really great kit, and it actually lends himself to the partners that he uses on his team, whether it's for Dark Dimension Cosmic or whether it's for Doom Raid Tech. So definitely a really great character. When I do get him unlocked free to play, because I plan on doing that, I'm going to be trying to go for the 1% Blitz uh, on the first splits next thursday and then it'll get me three star and then i'll start gearing them up from there i'm just not willing to spend money because i don't do a lot of that myself personally uh, but i do recommend t'challa he is a really great character and someone that i will be uh, leveling up and using quite a bit so that's the end of this video let me know what you think about t'challa cha-cha what are you going to be doing with him are you going to unlock him are you going to buy him uh what kind of red stars pulls did you get mine obviously was was fine you know for that's probably where i'm going to get him for yellow stars anyway so i'm happy with that and that gives me the opportunity to save more for next patches character so uh, that's everything, and until next time, everyone, uh, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Boylan signing out.